In December 2021, someone named Magnox accidentally offered his Ford Ape NFT for 0.75 Ether, which is about $3,000. And before he could fix the mistake, it was instantly purchased by a bot monitoring unusual price actions of these NFTs. The buyer even paid an extra $34,000 to speed up the process so no one could snatch it up before it's done. Why would someone be prepared to pay so much for an NFT that's often used as a profile picture? Well, because it's worth a lot more than $3,000. In fact, just a few days later, the buyer sold the same NFT for $59.99 Ether, which is about $2,300,000. That's a staggering $200,000 overnight profit. I guess the takeaway from this story is that, one, double check every number and every decimal you can when dealing with money, especially with decentralized cryptocurrency. A fat finger can cost you a lot of money. Number two is that why the heck would people want to pay so much money for something that doesn't seem to have any value? In this video, I'm going to talk about a new trend in the crypto world, NFT, how it's making people millionaires overnight, and how you can get in the action too. It's more compelling than you think. To have a meaningful conversation about NFTs, we have to talk about the most famous collection first, the Board 8 Yacht Club. First of all, it's not a yacht club, but rather it's a collection of 10,000 ape-themed NFTs created by Yuga Labs. Each NFT in the collection features different traits and characteristics. So basically, they all look kind of like each other, but each has its own set of characteristics. And because they are really recognizable and unique at the same time, owners of these NFTs like to use them as profile pictures. And therefore, they are also called Profile for Picture NFTs, or PFP NFTs for short. Despite the fact that Bored Apes are widely recognized as one of the most famous collection of its kind, it was inspired by CryptoPunks, the first NFT collection attempting to create a group of characters around a common theme and distinct characteristics such as hats and sunglasses. If you've seen a 24 by 24 pixel art image like this, that is CryptoPunk, it was created by two engineers from Larva Labs who used to be game developers and both of them love cyberpunk, the dystopian futuristic setting featuring a combination of low life and high tech. So in 2017, the two decided to build a pixelated character generator based on their cyberpunk inspiration. They generated 10,000 unique profile pictures and hosted them on the Ethereum blockchain. Back then, anyone who's interested could claim one for free. The only expense would be paying a few dollars for a transaction on Ethereum. However, as more and more people, artists, and especially celebrities started using them as their profile pictures, the punks started gaining popularity within the crypto community. And the tipping point happened when Jay-Z put a CryptoPunk NFT as his Twitter profile picture in June 2021. So now everyone started talking about these pixelated avatars. And as the popularity grew, so did the price of these NFTs. As of the time writing the script, the then free NFT is now worth around $3,500,000 thanks to the publicity brought by celebrities and auction houses. After watching these punks grew in popularity, Yuga Lab realized this was their chance to get into the crypto world, and they elevated the concept of PFP-based NFTs to a whole new level by coming up with more perks that came along with owning one of these NFTs. For example, owners of Bored Apes automatically become a member of an exclusive club, with perks ranging from early access to new offerings in the future, to receiving the full commercial usage right of the purchased Bored Apes. On top of these perks, the design of these apes is also quite distinctive and emotive. With all these attributes combined, it's not a surprise that the value of Bored Apes have exploded, like all the previous PFP NFTs. Bored Apes were first listed on April 2021 for a price of around $100,000 each. At the time of writing, the lowest price for a Bored Ape NFT is about $300,000. This is incredible when you consider the fact that BAYC and Yuga Labs were born in a matter of months and now the whole collection is worth more than $3 billion. With all these money on the table, you might be wondering what about the geniuses behind all of this? The story of Yuga Labs begin with its two founders, Gargamel and Gordon Goner, which are both pseudonyms. Interestingly, they were going to remain anonymous until recently when BuzzFeed published an article revealing their identities as Greg Solano and Wiley Arenal. Both have been involved in the crypto space since 2017 and consider themselves as holders. Holdol originated as a misspelling of hold, and then was used for hold on for dear life in the crypto community. Crypto holders like buy and hold stock investors pride themselves on holding on by not selling their cryptocurrency regardless of the price increasing or decreasing. 
And when the NFTs emerged, the two immediately realized this is a huge opportunity to showcase their creative sides while being part of this great crypto movement. To materialize their goal, they enlisted two software engineers, Emperor Tomato Ketchup and No Sass, as part of the project's founding team. And so, the Yuga Lab teams and the Board 8 project was formed. And you might be curious as to how much money they've made since selling these NFTs. According to the news, Yuga Labs made $138 million in revenue in 2021, with a net profit of $127 million. Yes, that's a staggering 92% profit margin. And what's even more impressive is the fact that there are only 11 full-time employees at the company, which equals to $10 million in profit per person. Honestly, I've never seen a company function like a money-making machine like this. After the Bored Apes proved to be a hit, Yuga Labs went on to develop more NFTs in order to maintain the momentum. The first was the Bored Ape Kennel Club, which consists of 10,000 unique digital dog breeds NFTs. They were distributed to every Bored Ape owner for free as a gift, and the dogs would be a perfect companion for the ape. Then there's also the Mutant Ape Yak Club, which is made out of zombified Bored Apes. Yuga Labs airdrop mutant serums to the 10,000 Bored Ape holders, allowing them to create mutant apes with either similar traits from the original form or very rare traits that make them more valuable. Moreover, just a few weeks ago, Yuga Labs expanded its NFT ecosystem further by acquiring CryptoPunks and MeBits from Larva Labs on March 11, 2022. After making this deal, Yuga Labs now own all IP rights, brands, and copyright of the CryptoPunks and MeBits collection, which are two of BAYC's most prominent competitors in terms of value and popularity, and it made Yuga Labs to be the absolute dominant player in the NFT market. By now, you might be wondering, what's the value of these NFTs? Is it just a bubble or there's actually some business logic behind them? This is a difficult question to answer. The quick answer is that it's highly subjective. Bored Apes and other NFTs, like any other artwork, came with a market value in the eyes of the beholder. Broadly, it's made out of two factors, perceived value and utility value. Perceived value is how much someone is willing to pay for an item, regardless of its underlying intrinsic value. It could be because of its rarity, beauty, history, or other factors. Utility value, on the other hand, is how much an item can be used for. Typically, a painting has a high perceived value but low utility value, which makes it very subjective in terms of determining its value. Moreover, a collection's value also increases when it becomes a status symbol. When famous people own an NFT, it makes others want to own one too, just like how people want to buy luxurious goods because they've seen celebrities wearing them. Take, for example, Jimmy Fallon. On November 8th, The Tonight Show host paid $145,000 for a BAYC on Coindesk Exchange. Weeks later, when he used it as Twitter's profile picture with 50 million followers, the flurry of hype immediately pushed the price of these NFTs. But wait, can't you just download or take a screenshot of somebody else's profile picture and use it as your own? The answer is yes, you can, but there's not much point in doing this. To illustrate why, we have to talk about what is an NFT exactly. NFT stands for non-fungible token, and it refers to a non-interchangeable unit of data stored on a blockchain that can be sold and traded. Think of it as a digital ledger that can be used to represent digital collectibles, such as photos, GIFs, rare digital art, or anything. Since they're non-fungible, meaning it's one of a kind, NFTs are perfect for providing a public certificate of authenticity or proof of ownership. This is because they can guarantee that each and every item in a collection is unique, making it impossible for anyone to replicate or counterfeit them. If you still don't get it, think of it like this. You can download and print a copy of the Mona Lisa all you want, but the real Mona Lisa is on display at the Louvre in Paris, and people will know that the printed copy is fake and at the end of the day, only the real NFT has value as it is unique. So owning an NFT is like having the real copy in hand. So with all that being said, what's the future of NFTs? After acquiring major competitors like CryptoPunks and MeBits from Larva Labs, Yuga Labs have effectively consolidated the NFT space. With all of these assets on hand, the NFT company has raised $450 million in funding at a $4 billion valuation according to the company's announcements, which means $0 to $4 billion in just less than a year. This is some very impressive growth. And to put this into perspective, Facebook was the poster child of Silicon Valley about 10 years ago, and it took the firm three years to reach a billion dollar valuation. So Yuga Labs' one year growth is quite astounding. 
Now looking ahead, Yuga Labs have some big plans for the future. Being the owner of three of the biggest NFT brands on the market, Yuga Labs plan to use the money to build a media empire around NFTs, starting with games and its own metaverse project called Other Side. The company also launched a cryptocurrency called ApeCoin last week. The token will be governed independently and used as a primary currency in Yuga Labs properties. Does this buying spree and expansion sound familiar to you? After all, this consolidation move with leveraged capital is no different from how traditional IP-related companies like Disney grow their business. In recent years, Disney has acquired Marvel Entertainment, Lucasfilms, and most recently 21st Century Fox. These acquisitions have given Disney control over some of the biggest names in the entertainment industry, including Marvel, Star Wars, and The Simpsons. With all these IPs, Disney has become the most dominant player in the entertainment industry. Can Yuga Labs follow in Disney's footsteps? We'll have to wait and see. For the time being, that will be all for today. This is Money Therapy, a channel all about money. See you in the next one.